What's poppin' cuties? I'm Rob Pai, and today I got another video for you. Today's gonna be a simple tutorial, quite easy actually. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's hop on in and get to it. First thing is the clip I'm using is me kind of like snapping, and then I want a, like a can to, to appear in my hand. So I snap, put the can in my hand, and then I have a can in my hand. What I want the clip to look like is that I kind of like snap and then summon it into my hand. So we're gonna need a couple things first. Let's hop on over to Safari, whatever browser you use, and we're gonna go to footage crate, or it's called vfx.productioncrate.com. Not sponsored, but I have been using this for a few years since probably senior year of my like my senior year of high school so I've been using it for a very long time so we're gonna hop on here and there is a ton of different effects you can use however I know what I want I just want a simple magic hit so we're gonna look at magic hit I'm gonna search that and um, I don't have pro so I can't use all the effects there's a ton of effects but I'm gonna disable pro content. I'm just gonna go to simple magic hit. I'm gonna download that as a MOV file. That way I don't have to key it myself. All right, so once you have it downloaded, I have my clip and the effect imported into Final Cut. Uh, we just need to trim. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so we have the parts trimmed that I don't want. I'm going to delete them. And let's just play this back real quick and see how it looks. All right, so we kind of have an idea of what we want. However, to make it look not re more realistic, but more uh, convincing, we need to use some effects. So I'm gonna zoom in on my cut here. And I'm going to bring in that magic hit that I downloaded. So this is where you kinda just have to play with it a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do really is move it to kind of go over the can. Just kinda rotate it to how you want it. Let's say like, eh. Like that. I'm gonna press done and I'm just gonna look at it real quick. Just it's not done. We just need to watch it and see how it looks so far. So if you saw the can appears before the magic effect does. That's not a huge issue. We just need to adjust when the magic hit starts. So let's take a look at that. All right, so I'm gonna have to do some more adjusting here. I'm gonna adjust a little bit. I'm gonna change the sizing and position just to kind of make sure it's covering the can when the can, like when the cut happens. I'm also gonna show you a couple things to make it look a little more convincing because right now it's just a straight cut and that doesn't look convincing at all. So let's just take another peek and see how it looks. Press done and play. All right, so it's looking good. Now we need to make it look a little convincing. I'm gonna go over to transitions dissolves and flow. I'm gonna adjust it just a tiny bit. All right, so far, so good. Now, to add a little a little more spice to it, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna add an adjustment layer right on top of that. And now, we're gonna go, going, we're gonna go back to effects. I'm gonna change the amount, because I want it to really, I want the screen to really shake a little bit. I'm gonna go up to 17. And now, let's watch that back with the effect, the transition, and the earthquake effect. That was pretty easy. Now, 
I'm going to go ahead and do some coloring, some sound design, and a couple more little tweaks here and there, and I'll show you the final clip in a second. Just what I have done now is just a basic like little effect, but the more you edit, the more it'll look, or like the, the better it'll look. So that's all you really need to do. So. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do a couple more tweaks and then I will show you my finished product and how I would edit it fully. So I will be right back and get back to you in a second. All right, so we are back with the final edit. Now I'm gonna show you how I would make the clip look with sound design, a couple more effects, and color. So here we go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. It's supposed to be quick, easy, fun to do, fun little side project if you're still learning Final Cut. So that is my teleport tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what you would like to see next. And I will see you in the next video.